Should Jefferson Starship be allowed to perform We Built This City and Sarah in their live concert performances? This is the Rock and Roll Weatherman. My name is Sean Morrison. And it's a very good point Mr. Morrison does bring up. The funny thing is the answer from Jefferson Starship was after Mr. Morrison asked them why are they performing We Built This City in concert back around. I think this was right during the pandemic when they stopped performing or right after. I kindly don't remember the exact date. But their answer was because Donnie Baldwin played with Starship and was on the Starship albums. So you're gonna go um you're gonna go with that aspect. If you're not subscribed to the Show Morrison YouTube channel, please do so. Everyone else has to subscribe. Thank you much for your continued love, honor, and support. It's really appreciated. Those that like to make a small donation to the Show Morrison YouTube channel, kindly do so via Sean Morrison Enterprise via PayPal. So, friends, you go to Starship featuring Mickey Thomas, and you're going to say to Mr. Morrison, yeah, well, he's performing Jefferson Starship songs. Well, in all fairness, he was on them singing. Not playing, I believe, the drums. Or whatever instrument he was playing. I mean, all you're doing is performing a Jefferson Starship. And these people in the audience thinking that these are the guys that performed We Built This City and Sarah, or they did not. Honestly, a farce in the opinion of Mr. Morrison, even though Jefferson Starship says it's okay. I can see if Donnie Baldwin was the lead vocalist on the song, which he is not. So, friends, do you feel, as Mr. Morrison does, that Jefferson Starship should not be performing Sarah as well as We Built the City in their live concert performances? What are your thoughts, friends? Shame, shame, shame.